What is punctuation? The English language has a system of symbols and signs known as punctuation. So why do we need punctuation? Punctuation shows us how to structure sentences and how each sentence should be read. Full stop. A full stop marks the end of a sentence. For example, Chloe went to the shop. She bought some sweets. Comma. A comma indicates a natural pause in a sentence or is used to separate items in a list. A list. For example, Stacy went to her friend Amy's house. She loves to go there. This sentence shows us where a comma can be used to create a natural pause in a sentence. Adam bought out apples, bananas, pears and grapes from the market. This example shows us where a comma can be used to separate items in a list. Question mark. A question mark indicates the end of a question. For example, how are you? Or how long is the bus journey to London from Cambridge? Exclamation mark. An exclamation mark marks the end of a dramatic statement or sentence. For example, stop or don't run into the road. Quotation marks. Quotation marks indicate direct speech. For example, I love to read a book, said Stacy. What did you do yesterday? asked Lucy. These are examples where quotation marks are used to indicate the direct speech. Parenthesis, or more commonly known as round brackets. So round brackets are used to separate extra information from the rest of the sentence, sentence or to add emphasis. It's important to note that commas can replace brackets without changing the actual sentence. For example, on the weekends I visit James, brackets, my best friend. Yesterday, brackets, Friday, was the last day of school. These are both examples where round brackets are used to separate the extra information within the sentence. Square bracket. Square brackets are used by the editor to indicate extra information. For example, the book states that when climbing it, brackets mountain, it's important to be very safe. Slash. A forward slash is used to indicate the word or and can be used to separate the day, month and year. For example, please explain to the lawyer when he, she arrives. So in this example, the forward slash 
is used to indicate the word or. The date today is the 1st of the 2nd, 2017. In this example, the forward slash is used to separate out the day, month and year. Hyphen. A hyphen is used to join words or to separate syllables in a word. For example, she is very self-confident. Her son is going to be four years old. N dash. N dash indicates a period of time, range of numbers, or a distance. For example, she lived in London from 1999 to 2005. The numbers range from 1 to 20. The flight from Dubai to UK is very long. M dash. M dash is a long dash that can be used instead of a comma, colon or brackets. This adds emphasis or enhances readability. For example, I can't wait to see Amy, my best friend, on Sunday. My parents, my parents are visiting tomorrow. I have missed them so much. Ellipsis points. Ellipsis points indicates omitted words or are used to add effect to a sentence. For example, she walked into the shop, then walked straight back out. This is an example of where words have been omitted. Omitted means when words have been taken out of the sentence. Sorry, I forgot my homework, said Adam. This sentence shows us where ellipsis points have been used to create a pause for effect. Another example is 